Saigon Coliseum. So. Yo, what bracket match is this? Is this like... This is losers round one, I think. Losers round one? About to see some people get knocked out. Brat, uh, brat. Legacy versus Man Down. Yeah, sure losers one. Losers one, okay. Who are we gonna hop on with, though? I'm kind of curious as to what uh, Munchie's gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna start on Munchie. All right, there we go. Play with Munchie's big guy. Oh, he's going one. Okay, okay, okay. He sees the guy going DMR. Now he needs. Oh, uh, he drops down. Nobody looked at the rockets. I don't think. I think oh, Red Team might have gotten those for free. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Ignited, who has the rockets right now. He's looking at bottom uh, bottom blue. He gets one of the rocket kills. Goes back towards blue base. Reloads those rockets, sees the guy on the flag. He should have an easy kill right there, but he pocket rockets them. Does he make it? And he makes up for it with a two for one. And, they've got snipe and they got snipe control. This should be the easiest run of their life as long as they just get it over there. They need one person going back, but I think they'll be fine. I don't think anybody's overextending and it's going to cut them off. There is a guy coming right elbow. He has a chance of stopping this. He gets there, but oh, oh. That was so laggy on my screen. I had no idea what happened. See, that's why it's important to have one guy go back towards the base or at least watch for the overextend because blue team was just able to get that flag away for free okay so emac got that gonna be on the return i'm switching over to him see what he's gonna do he's sitting on the return gets the return did they get the flag cap or what happened there oh they traded the return i think they traded returns you see that's like just a little mistake of not rotating back and watching the spawns just cost them dearly i mean they they don't have the 1-0 advantage within the first two minutes. Blue team gets a little bit more swag. Uh, blue team gets a little bit more swagger back, thinking that they can uh, that they can make another cap. Now, if blue team capitalizes and gets a cap after that. That'll be just horrible for red team. But I'm on I'm on board with Ignited right now, watching him uh, play around in the blue base. Yeah, so I've been following him too. I think he missed an opportunity to get a two-on-one and just push straight through a uh, cave. Which has led to him getting stranded in the base. Like in the base. Yeah, I mean, when he got stranded in the base, I think he should have pulled and at least like tried baiting the flag. Not necessarily playing the flag, but just pull it and make the make blue team, you know, come back. Yeah. But uh, you know, red team does a good job at killing the people. But uh, but I still think blue team should probably come away with this calf. It's going to be up to Elamis to see if he can get a couple kills and stop the flag cap. But it looks like they're just going to go yeah, back and let them flag cap this and just get back in position. Red team needs to take advantage of this position they have right now and get a couple of slays and pull that flag. That's gonna that's gonna hurt a lot of Elamis going down right there. But is that a sniper down at blue DMR? I I, I hope somebody realizes that it's down there. They get it real soon. I think Nate just grabbed it. Egg Nate has it right now. So I'm gonna keep on board with him right now and see what he's gonna be doing. Munchie's trapped in the back of the base with the rockets. Oh! He made a good play, pinch for a yeah. Oh! The flag's being pulled. Let's see if he can get away with this. I don't think he's gonna get away. No. All their support's back in the base. Munchie's yeah, I see that. See. Uh, down a few shots on the he gets a couple shots on him, makes him back off. Gets his red bank control. If he can get this kill still, it's gonna be huge. Just should back down at this point. Oh, but he does get the kill. Reversal metal. Right, he's watching them spawn in front of him. Yeah, because they're they're all spawning in this cave area, so this is a pretty good run, especially with a uh, Munchie in the back right there. He distracted three people. Yeah, they have no idea. Now they know they're throwing that prenade. I wonder if that hit him. Ah, yeah, that absolutely did hit him. He just needs to go fearless right now and just go into that flag though. He didn't really need to get his health back. The more that he waited right there, the longer, like, the more time he gave the other team to get closer to him. But they did end up getting the cap, so that's a blue team going up 2-0. Red team having an opportunity to get a counter flag right now, but it looks like Archer's going to get his triple kill. Yep, there's a triple kill. Is he going to look forward to his fourth? Nope, he's just going to... Yeah, I think that's probably going to do it. I don't think this flag guy is going to have much trouble getting back to the base. Looks like Red's all no, coming off their spawns. Yeah, that Maybe should be it. Yeah, I mean, once Blue Team got that stop on the first flag cap, I mean, it, all momentum just switched, like, just switched back. Yeah. I mean, they had they had the opportunity, but.
just did not work out in their favor. So we see blue team. Which one, which one uh, is blue team, though? Oh, it'll be helpful, huh? Blue team is some team. Can't figure out the teams. So Vilify is red team then, right? No, uh, Vilify is blue team. So blue team is Vilify. Let's really? go. I think so. Vilify, but I don't think anyone else from Vilify is there, because that's Orcas, Sinister, and uh, Munchie. No, so it's half of them. But I saw I saw Munchie in the game. Yeah, Munchie's in the game. Oh yeah, I, I meant to agree with you. Sorry if that came out wrong. Oh yeah. Uh, current teams. Oh yeah, I always forget there's that current. Man down is Amac, Eliminist. So man down is definitely. Okay, I can't see the post screen anymore, but I'm, I'm confused as who's one up. I think Munchie's so, team just who got the yeah, triple like, kill. Man down had to pick up two players from Double Five. Oh, like. uh, okay. So two sub the uh, match. That's interesting. It's Mac, Azian, and do the scopes unless someone changed the game the tag. The legacy has got. They've got front butt, they've got archer, they've got steamy jungles, and they're just missing solo X. Okay. And their coach, Japanther. Yeah, Japanther. Uh homie all the way from japan you know if he ever makes it to a coaching thing out i mean kudos to him because that's that's a time zone shift right there i mean whew. but uh i think he still like you know gets in with his team enough gets uh gets some practice in, tells him what they need to do but just no, I play with yeah just i like japan there he's real fun to play with real fun to play with let's see what's going on what they're talking about Cool, cool. Second map. Who do you who do you have winning right now? You think they're just gonna two zero it, get out, get it out of the way? You know, it's it's hard to say, but I think the fact that they've got three players who are used to playing together uh, versus red teams two is gonna put them over the top. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're evenly matched on a lot of gun skill. It didn't look like anybody was really wildly outslaying everybody, but um, blue teams team work is just much much better. We'll see how this goes. I guess let's uh, hop on with blue. Let's see what's good. Let's see what's good with them. Slayer. I think Inga. Ah, oh, there's two Nates. Just notice that. I'm gonna hop on with Munchie again. See what he what he's up to. He's making a play. Looking at E2. All four went E2 for red team. Now that's really interesting. And Munchie just gave me one shot thinking? immediately. Munchie somehow stays alive. I don't know how he managed, but and then he throws a beautiful nade to E2. Holy crap! Munchie just playing his life, doing damage, chilling out. Love it. And I think he almost killed himself. The scatter shot here in tower with Ooh, uh, now I'm curious of that. I don't think they saw the 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 scatter shot. No, okay, Arch. Yeah, they didn't see the scatter shot. Scatter shot's still down in tower. Oh my but they, God, wow. Maybe he used up all the ammo. Yeah, I mean, I saw it on the floor. I think there's still ammo, and I think that's just a huge misplay from red team. But, I mean, they are collapsing really well together right now. Using that camo to its full ability. I mean, they just let it go through its entire 45-second cycle. So that camo is used as well as possible. And, you know, Illumis is going get, to get, get a sniper out of it. So let's see if they're going to take out the outside control or if they're going to try rotating in. <laughs> Immediately gets hit by an Aiden connector. See, I don't like this position. He has a sniper, but he's playing connector. I mean, and he's not looking at anything. Instead, he should be playing, like, that catwalk area, trying to get angles into E2 or looking in the long haul. But instead, uh, instead he plays that connector and gets double-nated. And uh, now the spawns are flipped, and Ignited is by himself over at, uh, over at Carbine. Yeah, I think he should just throw this off, to be honest. He's by himself. That's, I mean... This is really weird right now. Red team's all over the place. You can see them there. They got two guys in bunker, one in carbine, one over at one over at snipe cat. They're just 
really disoriented right now on what they're supposed to be doing. I can't see a lot of team shots coming in. They're going to slowly get picked off until they're until this lead's going to get to uh, insurmountable. <laughs> a lot of right now, I think. A lot of map following, huh? Wait a bit. Oh, that's a scatter with yeah. 10 rounds. 10 I mean, that's insane. Is it supposed to be 10 rounds on HCS? Is that a mistake? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. And that, I mean, they, they're probably using the new custom game browser. I guess they uh, they need to tweak that scatter shot real fast. Dude, that's insane to have a 10 round scatter shot. Yeah. And Emac dies with the camo. Didn't go for the, uh, bank shots there in long haul. That's oh yeah, you know that's such a good thing to do is when you're like too far to know that you're not gonna kill anybody, you just zoom in and shoot at the ground. I mean, I've been able to kill people from like white corner and the back to the back of basement with like how far that scatter can go. It takes a couple shots, but all those bolts will connect and you'll do quite a bit of damage. Anybody have okay? So Munchie has a scatter shot right now, so I'm gonna hop on with him, see if he can stay alive and use the scatter to its ability. Especially with the increased clip round that they have with it. Scatter should dominate this game. But he's going to get sniped. Wow. Let's see, what the is gonna do with the see I, I think I'm giving everyone the cursor to, uh, the cur caster's death. Cause I, I just, as soon as I go on somebody, they immediately die. But, I mean... So he's holding snipe at nest. Yeah. yeah. Seems like a vulnerable position. Yeah, he should be rotating to his teammates over at Long Haul, probably. But you see, now he's kind of stuck. This guy in basement, or I guess sewers, is putting up quite a few shots in him. You see, red team is just all over the place. Look, I mean, they're in no position to help each other. They need to figure out where they want to play, and they need to play together instead of just being being somewhere. They got they got to start communicating where they are. See, now, yeah, one thing that I love to do. Such a great chance to get back into the inside too, right now. As soon as I get hurt with like nades in that back uh, nest area, what I like to do is as soon as I get my health back, I kind of like to run back to E2. His nades are it's it's a very vulnerable spot. Oh, yeah. Let's see, he's got like two potential snipes coming in right here. Oh, he almost had the snipe tanius if he hit a line that up. No reason to push. His teammates aren't anywhere that can help him. <laughs> Oh! And he gets the trade. I mean, that's the best you can ask for. I, mean, I probably would have rotated out a little bit earlier. I think Camo has just picked up a 27. Yeah, Amax got Camo. Camo times are late. He's, he's looking for that sniper. Does that sniper get, like, spawned off the map or something? And Emac, I guess it just disappeared, huh? I keep an eye on Emac. He's playing pretty good with this flank right here. As long as he doesn't shoot the people that he sees and tries going for this back lab, I think he's in a great position to get three people. Yeah, Except, oh. no melee. Halo 5 <laughs> shows up once again. 50% melee accuracy. 50%, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what's up with the game. I figured, is he, he's looking yeah. at somebody's back and he doesn't get the back lab. But, you know, BXR is the <laughs> guy at long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Now he's got scatter shot. Emac, yeah, I mean he's got he's got top gun, ten kills, eleven kills going on a killing spree. He knows where they're spawning. Look at that! Wow, it took eight BR shots, but <laughs> it's a great play. Took a little too many shots, but you know that's what we're here for. Get the get the shots going, warm them up. I mean, he, I think he's on a lot at the pro level is that they really love to trap people on those bunker stairs. Especially when yeah, right. sniper. he's playing it perfectly. Such a See, and then he hears that his teammate needs help, and he rotates out to his teammate. Emac is like single-handedly keeping this team in there right now. I think. Oh, he's out of bullets. Oh, Man, no. he's staying alive somehow. Great play. Oh, the name might get him. He's still alive. Oh my gosh, Emac. Oh, can you ricochet off the barrel? Oh. Oh no! Don't fall off. This guy is eating Thank scatters you. for breakfast. <laughs> Just That's eating amazing. scatter shots. Oh, <laughs> Emac just. I think he's almost on a killing frenzy. He's. I think he's almost there. He's gotta be. Oh. Oh, and he has the assassinations on. Just. Yeah, just he gives Munchie the business. The oh, 15 kills already. Only four deaths. Showing everyone how to control spawns. 
helping his teammates as much as he can. Riot's just going to be one shot back there. See, I, I don't think if anybody can make that shot. Okay, everyone's been having trouble making that shot just above that catwalk area. And if anybody wants to know how to do that, you just need to jump up, zoom in, hover up, take a little bit of time to, you know, aim that shot up and get it. I mean, anybody have any power weapons right now? I, I see Bo uh, I see the sniper on BSG. How do you say his name? Boethius? Most people just call him BSG. BSG, okay, let's do that. Or Bo. I'm going to go Bo's. It's gonna work out, but he has a sniper. Gets taken down pretty fast. <laughs> Caster's curse. Caster's curse, right? He's in a good position too. Just uh, unfortunately. Yeah, I just I I wish he'd play just a little bit underneath, like on the stairwell, instead of up on that catwalk, so he could have backed down if he needed right. to. That's a good point. A little bit more cover. Just had to look at him. Oh, that angle! That angle, Mac. He had two heads. Unfortunately, misses the first one, but nails the second one. Gets a body shot on Nate. He's just, he's controlling this map. Red team making a surprise. After getting 3-0'd on the first map, just coming in, taking control of this map. Blue team has just been struggling to have each other's help for, like, all game. Oh, I thought he, I, honestly, of how Max been playing, I thought he was going to hit that snapshot right there. Yeah, that was a good push by blue team through barrels. Uh, I'm worried they might be overcommitted now, though. If they've, if they've got it down, they could have just... I swear, every time I get on somebody... Deaths to give away. Right, I, they only have two deaths to go. I think you're right, that's the right call. I mean, they overextend a little too much. Emac gets a huge nade off on two people, makes them both one shot. And now he's in position just to put shots on and end the game. I think it's clear Emac was, or Amac. I I don't know why I keep calling him Amac. I should just call him Mac, to be honest. But just taking full control of the game, I wouldn't be surprised to see him with 13 him power weapons. He and he only had four power weapon wins. kills. That's crazy. I mean, like it seemed like he was doing so much more with the opportunities that he had. I wish I was on him earlier in that game. That's right, Aramis. As long as we keep seeing the Mac show. I don't think we can see this slowing down anytime soon. Starting it right up. Strongholds on Eden. I think this is the first game three we've seen of like... That I've at least seen of any of the uh, the first round matches. I don't think we've seen a lot of strongholds being played. Some more times. If it's a close game, turn off the power. I don't. I don't know. Smart. I might. I might not. It depends on how I feel. I'm holding this baby. I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. But no, I'll, I'll probably turn him off once in a while. Maybe we get on a sniper kid. See what. See what's going on with him. See if he can line up some of them shots. I mean, I think. I think it's clear that we have to step on board of Mac, though, right? He earned it. Absolutely. They do get the red spawn, so I mean they should be going right for those OS right off spawn. Hopefully they get it. It'd be a shame if they didn't. Matt going straight for those rockets. He knows his priorities. Oh. This is. I think he just made a really interesting play. I, I mean I don't like it just because. He didn't really help anybody. He didn't really help the OS guy, and now he let his teammate die to the rockets. He should have committed to something if he was going to go. Yeah, I think he had the right idea to support OS, just not the good route to do it. Yeah, if he went down the middle, I think it's a little bit better. But anyway, he does get two rockets left. Let's see if he can make use of his last one. He sees a guy at cage. Somehow that rocket kills him, but I, I think he almost pocket rocketed twice right there with his two rockets, but... In back in position, grabs the BR. He's coming back with his teammate to the blue bands. Run, Buds, running out of camo here. I don't think he's gonna manage to get this. Uh, oh. this so close, but red team really overcommitted on getting that guy stopped at blue base, and they're gonna give up catwalk. And now they're stuck with blue base by themselves, which is what blue team really wanted. That one player being on that area. This cause. 
cause Red Team to be at a disadvantage, but it doesn't really look like it matter. Red Team, with just how hard they've been slaying, is going to get this catwalk anyway. I think I'm going to go on a front, rut, front butt riot. He has this BR. He's holding down the tower side. Playing slow. Making sure to get those kills. Almost gets ninja, but stays calm. Cool. Collected. Gets control of that catwalk. Playing this power position with his power weapon. Overcommits just a little bit too hard. But we are seeing four people spawning out Blue Bend. Now, I like this push from Red Team. Red Team sending three people over to Red Nest, making sure that they're killing any opposition in the way. And they're going to ho like hopefully take this Red Base with uh, with how much they committed in those that side. Yeah, BSG's just waiting on it. Oh, I mean, Front Bar Riot already has it, huh? Didn't even notice. He's taking a lot of damage in this process. <laughs> He's taking on three people by himself. I think he takes out two. Is made like the absolute of absolute. Rotates back out to Blue Bend. And did uh, did, you, did you happen to see what happened with Invis? Oh, I think he's right here. I don't, I don't think Munchie noticed the guy that was standing next to him. Or am I thinking that they're on the same? No, they were on the same team. Just being stupid. Oh. Overcommits just a little bit. Yeah. That red nest spot is uh, it's hard to hold. Yeah, I mean, uh, get a couple shots. As soon as I get like two shot in, I usually like to rotate out just so I don't get hit by those nades. It's better to stay alive than to challenge too hard, but red team making a good split. I mean, we saw them two in catwalk, two in nest. Making sure that they get those bases. Now it's up to Munchie to make a play right here. One more guy in tower, and he looks away right when he was coming around the corner. Huge plays by Mac. Huge plays by Mac. Hopefully, uh, he's sitting there. They're spawning in Red Window, but nobody decides to look at Catwalk. They are in the position to get shots on that Catwalk. Mac's eventually going to get taken down. Red Team still has this three cap. I mean, look at Blue Team. They sent three people to three different areas. Red Nest, Catwalk, and Blue Bend all had people on them trying to take a base. So they weren't playing together trying to get a base. They were just desperating something because they were in a three cap. And somehow it ends up working out for them. But they're immediately going to get captured again at Blue Bend. And they're just going to be getting scored on again. They need to commu they need to communicate with each other. Let's see who's over there. Riot's over on the OS. Let's see if he's going to make a play over there. Yeah, he's just waiting on it. The OS is up. He doesn't, he doesn't go for the burn. Ends up getting the kill. We're letting Munchie get the kill, and Munchie's gonna walk out of there with that OS. Let's see what he's able to do yeah, with it. Where he is. Oh, he's getting flanks. Now this is this is interesting. That OS in, <laughs> Invis combo. He can play really aggressive with his Invis for a little bit. No back grab, but does double melee him for the kill. He's gonna sit in this catwalk. Hopefully, just yeah, where he is now. absorb these shot. shots. United desperately trying to find him in there. Doesn't manage to do so. I mean, his oh wow just absolutely melted what do you want to hop on with uh oh emac just went down with the rockets did anybody pick those up or was it out must have been out i'm hopping on with ignited seeing what he's able to do over on this blue cat area he's looking at catwalk gets a couple nades thrown hopefully he gets this kill there we go ignited gets one kill He's ready for Cone. Ready for this guy pushing him at tower. And they played a great job right there, just making sure he didn't take as much damage as possible. Crouching behind the pillar. Making sure that he gets the base. Trades with the guy up there. Now it's up to. See, that trade was so important because he let Mac get in a 1v1 or a 1v2. I mean, or a 2v1. Instead of having to play that 2v, uh, 2v1. Or a 1v2, I guess. Is it that trade? Now I got two people committing to the blue band. Let's see how this works out for blue team. Nate is sitting there in the base. Doesn't get the shots off. That's two people over at blue band. They should be able to take this over and start scoring again for blue team. Red still got tower with camo coming up. This is probably what's going to determine the game is if red decides to push out together or if they're going to try to desperating something. 
We do see two of them sitting over at Blue Bend's. Yeah, they're just getting that tower spawn. I think they should just push out into red base, try getting that red band. But I think Munchie, yeah, Munchie has the OS. Blue team's just keeping control of this map. Munchie with the OS and rockets goes up to red band. Don't hurt yourself that much, Munchie. <laughs> oh, just shoots the floor yeah, next to him. Yeah, the OS well, great oh. play by Ian. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> just, uh, just, just, just making sure that things happen for that team. But blue team is in the trip cap. I guess that's a really short-lived trip cap, though. Munchie is all over these power ups. All right, Munchie out. just. Oh wait, nobody else is paying attention to him. He's got all the times. Oh, oh my uh -oh. great eyes by Elamis. He's really trying to keep his team in this game. Does get taken out at Catwalk. Let's see if his teammate can pick up the kill. And they do. We have two guys double capping a catwalk. This is up to Munchie. They're both one shot. Can this nade take them both out? And they both go down. There is it, but I don't think he's going to get a chance to get the reset. Oh, he was. There we go. He gets in there. I don't. Red team scores for a short two seconds, but nevertheless, better than a trip cap. There you go. Removing the player outlines smarter. We'll see how this final uh, final bit moves out. Problem is I can't see where the action is anymore. Yeah, just blue teams just controlling this map. I think red team needs to reevaluate their uh, their objective play work. Probably playing a little bit more together. Their slayer is definitely down, but I don't know what they need to work on. Just practicing, yeah, waiting for their things. Good plays, but they never got any power ups, and so their good plays often came out to not quite getting enough caps. I have, uh, man, blue team was all over those power ups. I don't think, I don't think there was much time where they didn't have it. And let's get the damage across the board. They had three players with over two thousand damage. I think the team shots were just working in their favor a little bit more than it was for red. Red had a plenty of assists, but it's just the damage isn't there. So uh, I think blue team takes the series two one. Uh, red team. That uh, would be what blue team. Blue team takes it two one. Munchie Archer. I don't actually know who's on the team. Isn't that the team with two subs? It is front butts team, as I recall. Front butt team. Front butt riot. So yeah, I believe that is Team Legacy with uh, Archer and Kumba. And Jungles. So they've got they've got three players from their team today. Three players from their team. Legacy. Their bracket life is still alive. Able to keep scratching for that top bracket position. Making sure that they Good get in the A-League. From the thirteenth seed to take down man down the five seed. Not bad at all. No one expected that to happen. I mean I guess we can see that teamwork's really important. I mean, on paper, the number five seed was players with higher ranks, more slaying ability, but just because they had better communications and better comms going, they're able to take the two objectives. Yep. I mean, I thought that was a really great match. I mean, we had two really cl uh, two really good games in that. And the objectives, even though they didn't look, the first one didn't look as close, but I had a very fun time with you, Fender. I mean, I always love casting with you. It's always fun. I wish we had an analyst who could find out.